ilalagay niya pala ako sa kapahamakan. Inamin din niya na lahat ng akusasyon na seksyon laban kay Kibuloy na inaakusa ng mga lumabas na ng pastoral ay totoo. Inamin din ni Patricia na inaalay nila ang katawan, isip, kaluluwa at spirito nila kay Kibuloy para sa mga seksual na gawain. Ako ay dating membro ng Kingdom of Jesus Christ o KOJC simula nung ako ay grade 5. Naging membro ako ng KOJC dahil in-endorse ako ng aking mama matapos siyang maging avid televiewer ni Pastor Kibuloy. Ayon sa kagustuhan ng mama ko, napag-desisyonan niyang ilagay ako sa KOJC para mapunta ako sa safe environment kasi natatakot siya na may mangyari raw masama sa akin kasi may itsura daw ako. Napaka-welcoming ng mga membro ng KOJC sa amin kasi kusa naman kaming nag-attend ng service worship nila. Sa pagkakataong iyon, nakuha namin ang atensyon ni Nelly Canada na sa pagkakaalam ko ay may mataas na katungkulan sa Jose Maria College o JMC bilang Dean o Administrator. Pagkatapos ng worship, in-invite kami ni Mama na ipakilala kay Kibuloy sa dating Victoria's Building. Kung saan doon kumakain si Kibuloy, Nelly Canada also let me meet Pastor Kibuloy. Sa aking pagkakaalala, 11, 12 years old ako that time. Narinig ko si Kibuloy na sinabihan si Nelly Canada na, patira, na patirahin ako sa dorm. Ipinakita sa amin ang mga kwarto doon sa dorm at maayos naman ang mga kalagayan nito. At simula noon, doon ako pinatira sa loob ng compound. Sa pang-araw-araw na pamumuhay doon, tinuruan kami na lahat ng gagawin namin ay nakabase sa schedule. Sa umaga, magigising kami para mag-devotional na alas 4 o alas 5. Pagkatapos ng devotional, gagawin namin ang mga assigned tasks o work job. Naalala ko din na kapag gusto namin lumabas ng compound, madaming dadaan ang proseso at hindi sa lahat ng pagkakataon ay mapapayagan lumabas ng compound. Palaunan, nasign ako sa pastoral department. Meron pa din akong work job at minsan nag-serve ng pagkain ni pastor. Sa panahon iyon, napapansin ko parati niya kasama sa kainan si Stephanie Ibarra na isa ring pastoral sa inner circle. Sa pagkakaalam ko at alam din ng lahat na paborito ni pastor si Stephanie Ibarra, parati kasama ni Kibuloy si Stephanie kahit saan siya magpunta. Mga taong 2017, naimbitahan ako na kumain sa JMC lobby kasama si Kibuloy at ng iba pang mga inner pastoral. Nalaman ko kalaunan na kapag nakakasama ka na sa ganitong groupings ay malapit ka na mapagbilang sa inner pastoral. Pagkatapos ng mga ilang buwan, isang gabi, inibita ako ng isang inner pastoral na si Patricia. Sabi niya sa akin, Marie, pinapatawag ka ni Sir kasi sabay daw tayo maghilot, be presentable. Pagdating namin doon, binulungan ako ni Patricia na pumesto sa may kaliwang paa ni Kibuloy. Hinilot ni Patricia ang kanang paa habang ako ay nagsimula na maghilot sa kaliwang paa. Nung naging pastoral na ako, pinagbawalan ako ng mga nakakatandang inner pastoral na pumunta sa mga lugar na madaming lalaki o makipagkaibigan sa mga lalaki. Noong February 2023, dahil sa kagustuhan kong makapag-aral ng kolehiyo sa labas at sa paniwala ko naman may kakayanan akong makapag-aral, lumayas ako sa KOJC compound at hindi na bumalik doon. Noong araw na mismo na iyon, pumunta ako kay Patricia Daya alam kong lumayas na din siya sa KOGC compound sa panahong iyon. Doon ko nalaman na inutusan siya ni Jacqueline Roy na ihanda ako para maging membro ng inner pastoral. Sinabi ni Patricia na kinausap din siya ni Kibuloy para ihanda ako na maging membro ng inner circle. Inamin din niya na lahat ng akusasyon na sa laban kay Kibuloy na inaakusa ng mga lumabas na ng pastoral ay totoo. Inamin din ni Patricia na inaalay nila ang katawan, isip, kaluluwa at spirito nila kay Kibuloy para sa mga seksual na gawain. At nung nalaman ko iyon, nagtapo ko kay Patricia kasi pakiramdam ko ilalagay niya pala ako sa kapamakan at hindi niya ako sinabihan sa so, mangyayari sa akin. Kaya ako nagsasalita ngayon dahil as former member alam ko ng buong operasyon ng KOGC ay baon panlilin lang lamang. Inihayag ng Ukraine na si Yulia Vorenina, isa pang sinasabing biktima ng leader ng KOJC na si Pastor Apollo Kuboloy, 
na siya ay groom ni Jackie Ellen Roy, kasama ni Kibuloy, upang magsilbing pastoral ni Kibuloy na dapat mag-alok ng kanyang katawan sa pastor bilang bahagi ng kanyang religious service, idinagdag ni Vorenina sa ginanap na Senate hearing nitong Miyerkules ikadalawamputatlo ng Oktubre, na palaging ginagamit ni Kibuloy ang Biblia bilang instrumento sa paggawa ng dekonize na isa kanyang mga biktima. Narito ang matinding revelasyon ng Ukrainian sa Senado. At this point po, our next witness is Yulia Tartova, a former pastoral and victim survivor of sexual abuse at the hands of Apollo Kiboloy. She's joining our hearing live from Ukraine. Uh, just to refresh uh, our memory, let's listen to Yulia's video. And after that, she uh, is here to answer any other questions that we might have. So let's just uh, view again uh, Yulia's video uh, at that time as Elia Sofia. I was about 21 years old. It was 2014. Where did you stay? I stay in a dorm, like a building, a separate building. And most of the people there was Ukrainian. You tell me how your relationship with Pastor Kiboloy developed or unfolded. At first, our relationship was very good, very warm, very friendly. I didn't feel anything like, oh, he's like like you know. There's nothing about that. He transferred me in one room. I live with the Jack Roy. She's pastoral in one of the closest. Like she's very close to pastor. And I, li I live with her in one room. And little by little, some girls like uh, Jack Roy and other girls of pastorals uh, are, are Filipino. They used to fellowship to me like, are you ready to sacrifice everything to God, to the Father? I like pastor. Of course, I already sacrificed. I leave my job. I leave my school. I leave my friends and my parents. I already sacrificed a lot of. So what? What do you mean? I cannot understand because I already sacrificed and put the life that I choose. Then I leave and uh, I believe that this is God's way for me. So and they were just like even your body you can sacrifice. When he see that there is no Ukrainian girls and I'm alone, so he start more and more to talk to me. Are you want to sacrifice? Are you want to sacrifice everything, even your body? I'm very innocent. I really didn't. Nobody talked to me like straight, straightly that, that this is what will happen. And uh, I remember that time came, and Ateja came to me in the night, and she said, uh, "I want you to massage Pastor's uh, feet before he sleep." When Ateja called me for night uh, to massage him. Uh, I, I didn't think that this is what will happen, even though I was nervous. And she saw that I'm crying, but I'm still do what they want me to do. I wake up, I put this pajama and crying. I'm scaring and it's night and they put me, because I never stay in the, the pastor alone in the night, in the dark. <laughs> and I was nervous. It was, it was big room. And before room, there is a little room. So Atejak lead me there, and she said, go in pastor's room. And I just stayed in this little room because I was scary and I was crying. And pastor was waiting for me. Until he realized that I'm not coming, and he by myself went out and pulled me in his, in his room. And uh, I was like scary, and he said, like, massage my feet here, 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 and then Little by little, and I was very nervous, and it was dark. And suddenly he started to move my hands to put on his <laughs> He said, massage here, and I said, oh my God, okay, and I massage. And after that, uh, little by little, he just turned to me, and he removed my clothes. And uh, I even can because I was very shocked, I was like, I cannot explain. When, because I, I was nervous, if this is what happened, he just removed my clothes and have Women below the age of 18 years old, were they also being used? Um, yeah, I didn't know about this for how many years till I, before I left Philippines. Uh, I heard from other, like, she's very close to Pastor, she grew up with him, she's a senior there, and she's pastoral, and I heard that Oh, you're crying because I always complain about this pastoral ministry. And she said, Oh, you're crying that you're a pastoral? At least you're mature, but I become a pastoral in 12 years old. This is time when I was like shocked.
the next day when I heard it, uh, that come a pastor and 12 years old, uh, I start to fight with pastor and ask why is it normal? Is Miss Yulia? Miss Yulia, I think your audio is still muted. Could you please unmute? Good morning. Yes, good morning, Miss Yulia. Thank you for joining us in the hearing. Thank you. Can you hear us? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Yulia. Uh, before some of my uh, follow-up questions uh, about your uh, the previous video and also oh, with your presence with us today, could I just quickly ask? Uh, in the video, you mentioned a Jack Roy. Can you confirm if she is here today in the hearing? If she is to the to the right or to the left of Pastor? I cannot hear. You see cannot the see. Video. Yeah, but she's present there. I, I saw her. She's present. Is she to the right or to the left of Pastor? I don't remember. I have to to check. Uh... You, you cannot see uh, the video of the... Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, there. she is. Yeah. Can, can you confirm where, where uh, if uh, Jack Roy right is here? between uh, Athen Greet and Apple. So she, is she the one we, uh, uh, on camera right now with glasses? Yes, yes, she's the one. So that's the Jack Roy you mentioned in your previous video? <laughs> yes. All right, thank you, Miss Yulia. Um, how many how many Ukrainian pastorals uh, did Kiboloi have when you were there? Uh, it's about uh, about uh, ten, I think. Ten. Uh -huh. All right, including yourself. So ten, you and nine, about nine yeah, others. About ten. Yeah, uh, not, uh, if I will count. Uh, yeah, it's about ten about then all right and uh what do you think would happen if you or if you refuse to have sex with uh with apollo kiboloi what do you think would happen actually uh, we try uh to um, uh, to avoid this kind of uh service but uh, because uh, when you believe that he is the son of god uh, and uh, you will do whatever he wants us to do and uh, if you afraid uh, like if you will try to uh, excuse me i didn't practice my english for a very long time it's all right if you will try to uh, deny uh, they will uh, punish you and there is a lot of really uh, psychogi psychological uh, instrument uh, that they will use on you. That uh, even one day will not be enough to mention uh, everything. Uh, they will punish and call us, uh, scold us for a meeting and put uh, us in shame. That saying that we are uh, ungrateful. Uh, because pastor give uh, us everything and you just don't want to give uh, sacrifice your body like jesus christ sacrifice and of course they always will use uh, the bible as an uh, instrument to convince us to do it uh, and they always in the same time they want um, us to feel to twist our mind to feel that this kind of uh, service it's a very big privilege so we uh, uh will be willing to do it with our uh with our will so he will say that uh there because nobody can deny that there is a pastoral ministry even uh mr kibulo himself and everybody knows that only girls and young and beautiful women are uh, included there and everybody knows nobody can deny even the full-time uh, workers that uh, we all live 
separate from any others under the same roof uh, our uh, rooms are next to him so he have free access to every room to uh, like uh, to each room and uh, nobody uh, can um, uh, uh, nobody knows his life behind the door that's mm -hmm. why no, there's um, no full-time workers that know what is happening there uh, so when you uh, try to uh, like for example there was uh, um, uh, several times that I tried to deny uh, this uh, ministry of sleeping with him um, uh, because we have a schedule like uh, and he will be the one to put the schedule who will be the one tonight and uh, Jack Roy it, in my time it was her ministry to uh, invite girls to pastor's room uh, and actually to invite the girls to this uh, ministry to pull them in in his room uh, and uh, miss julia you told us something very important you said that nobody can deny that there was such a thing as a pastoral ministry uh, you said you told us that twice and uh, you said that if you refused to give those kinds of service that sexual service uh, as you tried to do uh, several times that you would be punished uh, including yeah. through psychological instruments yes you yeah. said that they yeah. they uh, could uh, try to uh, twist your mind uh, what kind of psychological punishments and what other kinds of punishments did they impose on you if you try to deny this kind of sexual service uh, like as i said there was a schedule and there is one time i tried to deny it because uh one day his he said that i will change my rule so i will not be the one to call you who will be the one tonight to uh, to uh present yourself to me, uh, but uh, I want you to be voluntarily to come to the Jack and uh, to uh, put yourself in the list. And me and some other Ukrainian girls whom I know, uh, we like said, like uh, we never uh, go and put our names uh, in the schedule. And then, uh, because he said, uh, uh, Mr. Kibula said that I want to see those who are really doing that willingly and who is not and uh, me and some other girls have a separate room mm. pastor of ministry. and after uh, he wait one week two weeks or about one month i remember i don't remember exactly but there is such a time that nobody from us uh, asked to uh, do this ministry and then he started to come by himself like for example he had the key of each room and just in the middle of the night he come to my room and uh, have uh, sex with me then uh, and you cannot uh, you cannot run away you cannot say I don't want because if you say you I don't want he said you didn't overcome your flesh and uh, if you will not obey you will go to hell like things like that uh, and other night uh, I like we have all dinner together and I feel that uh, by the way he look at me I don't understand that this night he might come so I uh, didn't sleep in my room I go in other room and in the middle of the, of the night he was looking for me and he uh, find me in uh, girls in the room the girls live all together so because I in my mind I thought that he will not come if we are many but he come and he said uh, you have five minutes to come back in your room and if you will not come you will have a problem in the morning so different actually different kind of uh, instrument they used uh, I know there is like for example other girls who uh, said that and also me I use this as an uh, instrument uh, like for example 
it's the time uh, to serve. And I would say I cannot do it because I have menstruation. And mm -hmm. because we are mature, uh, they um, uh, they didn't do the, the, these cruel things that they have done to the girls that, are, that they're younger. So Atjak came to the girls and said, I want to check your panty, mm -hmm. if there is napkin or not. Mm -hmm. And the girls just remove their pants to prove that they are not lying. So of course he know that uh, we are not willing to do it, and we are forcing that to do, it, and we don't want to do it. But yes. he he likes the most uh, girls he like. It's those who try to deny because he said, "I want you to overcome your flesh. I want you to be on the next." Uh, spiritual level when flesh are nothing to you like for example and after all uh, you said that uh, pastor had uh, free access to the rooms he even had keys uh, to the rooms so about the schedule that you mentioned miss Yulia uh, do you mean Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday uh, it was a young girl or a, a young and beautiful woman, no rest day, every day there was somebody scheduled? Yeah, there is, uh, for every night, there's he never stayed alone. And uh, all the girls that uh, were living in the uh, uh, pastoral area, they, uh, uh, like, they have this kind of ministry. Someone uh, have just uh, several times to experience that, and some uh, have to uh, to do it uh, like all the all the time, like almost every week. And um, you also mentioned another important thing earlier, Miss Yulia, that nobody, um, even some of the full time workers, nobody knows pastor's life behind those doors behind the doors of the pastorals. You also mentioned uh, Jack or Jacqueline Roy as your groomer. How did she groom you? Uh, at first, uh, it's a long story because in order to uh, to do it, it's not a very quick way. So I will try to make it short. Yes. Like yes. Uh, when I was in uh, transport to a pastoral area and I started to live uh, with at the Jack, I was very new. I even didn't know uh, English, uh, any word of English, and he was very in hurry to pull me in uh, in pastor uh, to pastoral ministry. And there was one time uh, at the jug, uh, in it was night, and she called me and she said uh, like he wants to uh, talk to you, and I came to his room and uh, he opened. He had Russian Bible. He opened Russian Bible and because he cannot talk to me in English. And he said, I want you to read this verse in Russian. So uh, I opened this Bible and uh, there was a verse, uh, I don't know how to say it in English, uh, translate in English. It's about this uh, uh, scripture about to sacrifice your body. Mm. And uh, he was trying to ask me, are you ready to sacrifice like your body? And he, uh, pulled, he uh, put his finger on the bed because we were sitting on the uh, chair before the bed. And he uh, showing to the bed and he started to pull. And then I was, uh, because I was very new and everything that I know about him was good. And I get scared, I get shocked because I, uh, uh I, like in my mind this is really what he mean by pulling me to the bed and i run away from the room and there's a, a garage uh, in front of um, uh, in front of bible school but in that time there was uh, uh, some pion a big place with the, a lot of stuff and I ran away because where I can go, I'm in another country, <laughs> where I will go. So I uh, ran away and I uh, 
hide myself there. And I was just crying because uh, I was thinking how to go uh, home. Uh, I get a problem and uh, who, can who can help me to go out of this. And then uh, when it's already morning, of course, I have to appear where I cannot stay there forever. And when I uh, come back to the room, the jack was very mad to me. And uh, they said that uh, you run away from him. You don't have uh, uh, any respect to the son of God. Uh, and they like uh, start to uh, let me feel that I'm guilty. And then uh, I guess they realized that it's too early for me. I'm not ready yet. I'm not uh, still uh, not uh, brainwashed uh, uh, that I can do it. So uh, they explained that, they called me again, and they said, you, don't worry. This is the, you, because this was my reaction. They, saw, they know that they cannot do it, I will just go away. And they said, you, don't worry. Uh, you didn't, you just misunderstood. Uh, uh, misunderstood? Yeah, you misunderstood. Uh -huh. He just want to trust, uh, to uh, try your uh, faith to know if you if your uh motive of coming are really real and they again use the words of the bible when the abraham sacrificed uh his son and he said it was just uh like what he used to you and um, this example miss julia it comforted me and i said oh okay because, uh, like, uh, and then I, I again start to think good about him. Then the next level, we have a dinner, like a few, maybe weeks, again, the next level. We have a dinner uh, and uh, I have, uh, like, uh, trauma in my back. And I was just talking, like, uh, I have pain in my back. And uh, uh, Mr. Kibuwe, he put a a joke as i thought in the time he said don't worry i have a healing uh, hand uh, i will do massage for you and you will be healed and uh, i was just laughing or laugh uh, because we thought it's a joke but when the night came uh in the middle of the night at the truck uh came uh with pastor to my room and i was just sleeping and he said you, uh, you said you have back pain, he want to massage you. And I said, no, no, I, I'm okay. I was just joking. He said, don't worry, just trust because uh, it's a big privilege if he will pray on you. And I said, okay. And uh, I just lay down. Uh, she turned off the light and she uh, go out from the room. And then Mr. Kibola came and he started to massage my back. And of course, I didn't feel com uh, comfortable, but it, I also cannot uh, escape. And after that, he started to uh, move his uh, hands uh, lower to my back. And I get, again, I get scared. I said, no, uh, I don't have pain there. Uh, please don't do it. And he said, just relax, just relax, like things like that. And again, I run away from the room. Again, I hide. Then the next morning, they spoke to me again. Like he wanted to pray on you, he wanted to heal you, and you just go away. So little by little, uh, like uh, really, it, I cannot mention all, but uh, I want you to guard the point. Miss Julia, that, uh, before... there is a lot of trick that uh, they were using. Uh, Miss Julia and uh, colleagues, uh, the minority leader uh, has to leave. Salamat kaayo, Senator Coco, for attending. Ms. Yulia, before my last follow-up question to you at this point, I'd just like to quickly ask uh, Ms. Jacqueline Roy. Ms. Roy, uh, quickly lang po at this point, uh, narinig nyo yung mga sinabi ni Ms. Yulia. Uh, do, you, do you confirm what she said? Uh, uh, inaamin nyo ba yung mga sinasabi niya na kayo daw ang nag-group sa kanya para kay Pastor? Good afternoon, po, Senator. Um, I want to invoke my right to remain silent, and I'm also invoking my right against self-incrimination since 
nasa korte na po po ito. Salamat po. Alright, babalikan na lang po namin uh, kayo para sa ilan pang mga tanong uh, mamaya. Um, Miss Yulia, just uh, for a last question for me at this point. Miss Yulia, you sent us a copy of an audio file that came into your possession. Uh, now, noting that the Philippines Republic Act number 9208 as amended grants immunity from liability to a victim of human trafficking who transmits a recording involving a violation of that law and noting further that this audio file uh, had been also circulating already on the internet, the committee will play this audio file now. So please uh, stay with us, Miss Yulia, while we play the audio file. I was uh, about Ang makagamit sa inyo ang anak lang. Wala lang, wala ka bubuto niya. Ikaw pani, may number 1 niya. Pag nilapas ni mo, imo gilapastangan ang balahod. At yun kang ulay ko kaluoy, pinari sa duha o tulo ka saksi. Mga na na nabing witness sa tanas doy. Gapakita sila sa inyo sa internet, malipayon sila no. Ganong gapakita po man sila diyan, malipayon sila. Kaya di hindi sila malipayon. Kato sila, gukuro na ko ito. Abin lang. Abin lang, tapos na ko sa ila. Pabayaron ko sila tanan. Kaya nai, nai utang sila sa ministry na ko. Nai utang sila sa kingdom. Pabayad po sila madali, madugay. It will take five years, it will take ten years. It does not matter. Basta natatutok sa ilang engine of death. When the opportunity presents itself, patay sila. Gila na kapastoral na naigo na tapat sa kuha. Iya pa ninyo. Di man niya kung mapasakitan, bimbro-bimbro lang. Pag naging contact ng lalaki niya, naging sex ka na sa iya. Yata gulay mong kawalimon sa iya. Pag sa internet, nang I love you, I love you ka na. Yata gulay mong kawalimon sa iya. Dato ko, nagsalik ko sa iya mo, Nagtutok ako ng kung manako sa imo, kitrai tungo ni mo, trai ber kitrai trai ko ni mo. Usay ako ng wato. Dato ko para mabawi ako ng tungo usay ako ng wato. Ikaw ugang trai ber patiyon taka. Siguro duo na ako mamatay ni mo. Dito pa ako makabawi sa ako ng tungo. Mabita ako muslim dun ay ono kiling. Diling ako katalikod ng dalim ministry. Pati mo mga matay. Kung yung pagtuo pwede mong matalikod, ngayon na na kayo gusto ninyo matalikod. Sulod daw mo yung PA ba? Isang kadre ka lang, sulod ka yung PA. Pagka nakalektsyon na ka kapila sa ilaha, di ka nakagawas. Pag di gawas ka, bukurong ka, patsyon ka. Sulod mong mafia, sulod mong gobyerno sa Amerika. Pag ipasulod ka diya sa ilang CIA, ipasulod ka sa ilang FBA, ipasulod ka sa ilang NSA, nakabalo na ka sa upang mga mga confidential niya. Tapos kalit-kalit mo, talikod ka, di ka kukuro. Inani ang akong ang commitment na ako sa inyo. Wala na yung makatalikod sa inyo. Wala na yung makatalikod sa inyo. Wala na yung pwede mo traitor sa inyo. Pag nag-traitor mo, na yung bukod sa inyo. Patay doon mo dito. Kapahamakan na inyong yantuan. I-implement po natin. Anong hunahuna ninyo na ba? Pagkalaluman ninyo ang panghunahuna ninyo sa ministry na ako. May pilya mo. Ikaw pa rin, may inahan ka rin, may suon ka. Kato yung suon ni mo. At tinang iimo yung suon sa gawas. Kung doon nata na, wala yung bilhin na na. Inana ka lang ang commitment na ito rin. Pero nag-communicate mo ang lalaki, pagkatapos mag-report-report mo sa kuwa rin. Sa mutang niya mo sa akong balay, ang gusto na ako rin may utumano. Hindi mo pwede mo tumang rin sa gusto ninyo, matili na gusto. Kapoy doon kung mag-iul na kanimbal anak po pag sa tanas rin ba? May ibog ko ng mga muros, ng mga muslim. Dahil mga babae sila magpaprostitute sa ilang mga warriors. Kasi para mawala ang stress. Hindi na po ang iyong weakness sa lalaki. Ilabay ninyo na kaya di na nakabubuton sa mahal. Kaya giyin mo na mong pastoral para sa anak lang mo. Thank you.